Welcome everyone to MTG Deck Masters and here is my favorite Pioneer deck the Pioneer deck I've been playing for the past two years and ever since I started playing the deck I didn't have the greatest of results to be honest I had better results with modern Lotus Field combo or Twiddle Storm or Lotus Breach whatever you want to call that deck I had better results with that which is a tier 4 deck than this which is literally a tier 1 slash 1.5 Pioneer deck but only recently, as I started playing the deck more, I got a better understanding of how the deck really works. Because I was playing this deck more like a Storm deck, whereas this is more like an Amulet Titan or a Tron type deck. It's like more of a big mana deck than a Storm deck, the more you play it. And ever since I've been playing, using my new strategies and new way of thinking, I've been having amazing results with this deck. And now there's one big issue. There's a ban and restricted announcement coming tomorrow. That's right, tomorrow. There's going to be a ban and restricted announcement, which is something that will happen once in a year from now on. And I also made a video explaining my predictions for Pioneer and Modern. I said Karn, the Great Creator, and Fable of the Mirror Breaker will get banned in Pioneer. In Modern, there's going to be no bannings. They're going to keep the One Ring, Bowmasters, Fury, and Grief. But they will unban some cards, for example, Preordain, Splinter Twin, Punishing Fire, and Glimpse of Nature, as well as maybe Deathrite Shaman, but I'm not sure about that one. But that's what I said. Uh, those were my predictions for Modern and Pioneer. But a lot of people commented in the, in the, under the video that they thought Lotus Field was going to get banned in Pioneer. And that got me really scared, because if that many people think Lotus Field is getting banned, then that means I will be left without a Pioneer deck because this is the only Pioneer deck I've been playing for the past two years. The last Pioneer deck I played that's not Lotus Field is Kethys Combo. And Kethys is still banned in Pioneer. So unless they unban Kethys and ban Lotus Field, what am I going to play? I have a deck I'm building right now, so stay tuned for that. I'll reveal it whether or not Lotus Field gets banned. But uh, I'll just wait it out until Monday just to see uh, if Lotus Field gets banned because obviously that will be pretty impactful for the deck tech because I don't want to talk about a deck and talk about the metagame when there's a big shakeup coming literally in a couple of days. But as of the filming of this video, it's literally coming out tomorrow, the ban and restricted announcement. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. But I hope Lotus Field doesn't get banned. So I want you guys to comment down below. What do you think is going to happen in Pioneer tomorrow? And also, do you think Lotus Field is getting banned? Now, what is the argument for Lotus Field getting banned? Here's what the card is. It's a land with Hexproof. And that's the most important part of it. Because you cannot besage you a Lotus Field. You can tap it with Fire Ice. That's for Modern at least. And you can destroy it with Field of Ruin. So that's really important. It comes into play tapped. And when it enters the battlefield... You sacrifice two lands and you can tap it at three mana of any one color. That's also quite a big drawback. You only tap it for three mana of any one color, not mana of any color in any combination of colors. That would be pretty broken. So that can be an issue at times, but the card is just totally busted when you can abuse it with cards like Voyaging Seder to untap it by just tapping it. Uh, same with Vizier of Tumbling Sands and most importantly, Hidden Strings which can untap Lotus Field and Thespian Stage copying Lotus Field, as well as Poor of Other Pages, which can untap Lotus Field, as well as the Stage, because with Stage, it's a land that taps for a colorless mana. You can pay two to tap it, and it copies one of your lands, and it gains this ability. So you tap it and pay two mana to copy Lotus Field, and you don't have to sacrifice two lands because Thespian Stage is already on the battlefield. So you don't get the enter the battlefield trigger of Lotus Field. And then you have two Lotus Fields on the battlefield. So you can untap both with Hidden Strings or Pour Over the Pages. And then eventually you're able to cast cards like Lear, Disciple of the Drowned. To flashback all of your spells to untap your Lotus Field a bunch. Make a bunch of mana. And then cast Emergent Ultimatum to get some broken cards in your deck and just win the game. And this deck is mostly a turn 4 deck. It's not the fastest deck, but it's really resilient to hate because it can very well win without using a creature and even without using the graveyard. The only graveyard-based card in the deck are Balagate Recovery and Leer, Disciple of the Drown. The rest of the deck wins very easily without using the graveyard. 
But the reason why I believe people want Lotus Field banned in Pioneer is because they don't like the idea of the format having combo decks. And even though this deck is not dominating, it's around 5%, 5 to, it hovers between 4 and 8% of the metagame. So that's nowhere near banned territory when you look strictly from a metagame share standpoint. But when you look towards a more fundamental standpoint on the dynamics of the game, then I think Lotus Field, there is a pretty strong argument for it getting banned because Wizards of the Coast, they want Pioneer to be distinct from Modern the most possible. That's why they initially banned the five fetch lands because they didn't want the format to look exactly like Modern since Modern is mostly made out of new cards nowadays anyway. It's all cards printed from 2019 onwards that are being played in Modern since Power Creep is a real thing. Except for obviously the lands like the fetch lands because Wizards will never print fetch lands again in uh, another form or another land that goes in the graveyard and does a similar thing. I don't think that's ever happening because it's just way too good for deck building, playing decks with a bunch of colors. It makes it so easy to splash a color and makes cards like Deathrite Shaman, Treasure Cruise and Dig Through Time just broken. Whereas in Pioneer, nobody plays these cards because it's uh, pretty hard to fill up the graveyard, especially without cards like Thought Scour uh, in the format. Uh, so, I don't think... Uh, I'm not sure, man. <laughs> I'm not sure if Lotus Field is getting banned. Personally, I think Karn and Fable are getting banned because Mono Green is around 20% of the metagame. And it's also kind of a combo deck. People hate playing against it. They're tired of playing against Mono Green and Rakdos. So, I think uh, Karn is getting banned, not Nykthos. Because I think Nykthos is good for playing fringe devotion decks. Uh, someone mentioned in the comments of one of my videos... Mono Black Devotion is a very fun deck in Pioneer, and if Nick Thos gets banned because of Mono Green, that's pretty sad because it makes all these players that want to play uh, cool archetypes, well, prevents them from using their, their decks because Nick Thos got banned. Whereas Korn, I think everybody can agree that it's not really fun to play against Korn the Great Creator. And Mono Green will still be playable without Korn, but just nowhere near as good. It will may probably be a tier 2 deck or even a tier 3 deck. Whereas Rakdos, uh, now, Rakdos Midrange is not that dominant, but Rakdos Sacrifice is everywhere. There's always a Rakdos deck rivaling with Mono Green for the top spot in Pioneer. And if they ban Fable of the Mirror Breaker, then that will significantly weaken the Rakdos decks. But the Rakdos, Mid uh, Rakdos Sacrifice decks, not as much, because it's not that much of a key element of the deck. It's just a really good card. So I think that deck will still be good without Fable. But now what happens is... If they ban Korn the Great Creator, and if they ban Fable, then what deck is going to emerge as the best deck in Pioneer? We have a few options. We have Blue White Control, we have Grease Fang decks, but one deck that gains a lot from Korn getting banned is Lotus Field Combo. And do you really want Lotus Field Combo to be the best deck in Pioneer? Absolutely not. Wizards will, of course, ban Lotus Field if Lotus Field Combo becomes the best deck. But if Korn gets banned, then a bad matchup of Lotus Field, Mono Green, and the best card against Lotus Field, Karnic Great Creator, gets banned. So even if Mono Green stays at the top of the format, it will now be a buy for Lotus Field combo. <laughs> so I think Lotus Field combo is going to be the best deck in Pioneer if Karn gets banned. And if it doesn't get banned, then Lotus Field will be fine. But maybe Wizards will anticipate that Lotus Field will be too good now that Karn is banned. So they will ban Lotus Field, even though it's not a problem for now. And... Uh, Another ban that some people brought up is Thoughtseize, and they said, sure, Thoughtseize keeps the format in check, but this card is played everywhere, and it's just such a, it's such a big gap in power level between Thoughtseize and all the other cards in Pioneer, and it's clearly the best discard spells, and there are a lot of other options to play instead of Thoughtseize, so perhaps Thoughtseize should get banned, but the problem, if Thoughtseize gets banned, p combo decks like Lotus Field Combo would become way too good, because Thoughtseize is one of the best cards against Lotus Field Combo to take a Sylvan Scrying or a Hidden Strings from the opponent hand. So, if they ban Thoughtseize, then the format will be less hostile to Lotus Field. So, perhaps it's a good decision to ban the Lotus Field. So, um, that's those are my thoughts on Lotus Field getting banned in Pioneer. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think Lotus Field is getting banned in Pioneer? Personally, I'm not selling my deck. I just pray that Lotus Field stays legal in the format. Because I just love this deck and I don't want it gone. I just, uh, I want to keep playing my Lotus Fields and casting four of the pages, one of the most satisfying cards ever to play. You truly don't understand until you've untapped when you had no cards in hand, 
with Lotus Field and Stage and Top Deck Port Vila Pages. Oh, that's the, one of the best feelings in the world. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts. What do you think is getting banned in Pioneer tomorrow? What do you think about Lotus Field and Pioneer? Is it too good? Are everybody in the comments just uh, salty that they lost to Lotus Field combo and they don't know how to play against it? Or are they right? Is it going to get banned tomorrow? But I guess we'll know. Uh, it will be. It will come out in around 24 hours, so I'm pretty excited for that. Thanks for watching. Check out my Patreon for my sideboard guide for this. Uh, maybe you have only 24 hours to look at it before I delete it. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.